Hi, I'm Elizabeth Sullivan. I'm going to do a quick little demonstration of uh, watercolor crayons. I have this set of watercolor crayons. I really love the things. Well, let me get them in there. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to use them. They're fun, fun. Lots of color. I already painted a background in the usual watercolor, regular watercolor. Um, so I'm going to put different colors of greens on there first. and yellows. It's just kind of grassy. It's kind of free and easy here. Not all of my grass sticks up straight. Maybe some of it's been, you know, walked on or something. Hmm. Add a little blue in there at the bottom. little darker green. This would be, I guess, a bug's eye view. And I'm going to add in some little flowers. And as you can see, I'm not being real careful about it. in some various flower colors. But the idea I have is it will take take on a very watercolory, you know, flowy type look, the final painting. It's just an idea. Hmm, okay, crimson? Hmm, I don't think so. But we'll try it. It's kind of wildflowers, various colors here. Ooh, violet, why not? Let's add some of that. Need some yellow. Let's put yellow in there. The yellow <clears throat> apparently doesn't show up very well on that background. Of course not. Yellow and blue turn into green, but we'll have a little yellow in there anyway. <clears throat> and I think I'll take this one. Just add a few leaves to the mess. All right, now I'm ready to do the water part. Now, how much 
the watercolor crayons blend in has to do with how much water you put on them. You can make them blend in a lot, or you can make them just do a little bit with the amount of water you put on. And once they pick up the water and begin to look like watercolors, they pick up some color too. So if, in other words, if you go over the green and then you put it on top of the orange, maybe not a good idea. They'll blend together. Now at the bottom, I want it blended together quite a lot. And at the top, I want it wispy like leaves and blades of grass. Hmm. Some of the paint ran. See there where the purple ran into the green? I don't care. It makes it what I call watercolory. It makes it painterly. Sometime I'm gonna do this. Oops, move the camera. And I'm just gonna throw water on it and see what happens instead of trying to be painterly, which I'm doing now. So I want it all blended in green at the bottom. And after that, we can get some sky showing through. You know, maybe it's flowers in a window box or, hmm. Maybe you're laying down looking at the flowers. Laying in the grass looking at the flowers. experiment with watercolor crayons it, they're just they're just so much fun back to second grade here but the thing is that you have a lot more control over a crayon than you do over a brush so i don't know perhaps i should be painting things that need control instead of my my um wispy style here there we go it makes the cutest little card <laughs> you might say okay i want to put a little bit more here i want that blended a little bit more and then you can also go over it with a crayon and add a little bit more of a line rather than a blendy part. Now the next one I'm going to do is the same thing, except this time I'm just going to do colors, same, same painting, but I'm going to just put water over the top, like I said, without, whoops, without um, any regard to where the lines are and see what happens. This is totally experimental here.
See, I'm even holding it like second grade. Not even like a pen. Wow, I have regressed. Or what here? Need yellow. Want to blend in lots of yellow. The real key to this, though, is going to be to not put too much water on it. If you put too much water on it, it's just going to turn out to be all one color. All the colors are going to blend together and become one color, which is not what I want. Okay, so now, hmm, should I put my flowers on? I guess I'm gonna, huh? <laughs> I guess I did. What I was gonna say is maybe I could blend the um, the green, green and yellow parts and then add the flowers later. But no, I didn't do that. Okay, there we go. I need a bigger brush. Okay, let's try it out. Now you can just kind of dab the water on and see what happens, or you can paint it like that. If you paint it, more blending will occur than if you just dab it on like what I'm doing here. Ooh, love how that does that. Well, okay. Now, you notice I did not put it on the flowers. I did not put water on the flowers. My idea with that is that I'll wait till the green part dries and then I'll put the water on the flowers. Ooh, there's a lot of water on this piece of paper. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, I'm going to tip the paper. And hope <coughs> that it'll all run down. Oh, there's a dry part right there. Okay. I'm going to take a paper towel. Wipe off some of that excess water. And that's how that comes out. Then I'm going to go back and do the flowers with a smaller brush. Oops. The reason I said oops is because of some of the purple color got onto the pink flower. That's because I didn't wash the brush in between doing the pink flower and the purple flower. So before I do another purple flower, I will go back and wash the brush. There we go. Now, I don't know. I think I like this one better. 
a little more defined than this one. But I'm, I will, after this dries, I'll probably go put some more uh, marks on there with the, with the crayons. It does have kind of a neat, uh, I like it where it bled there. The purple bled into the green. Okay, there you go. Watercolor crayon experiment. Don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.